What do you want? I've got a message for Lady Sybil. From her ladyship. Thank you, O'Brien. I'll manage now. Odious woman. What does Mama want? I just said that to get rid of her. This came today. I knew they would want to see you. Oh, it's your reference, what's done it. But how am I going to get there? They won't let me take a day off. You're going to be ill. They can't stop you being ill. What? No one has seen Anna for a whole day. They won't notice if you vanish for a couple of hours. Anything more thrilling than you, Frog? I suppose not, my lady. You shall have one too. I thought this would be suitable for your interview. Well, I won't be wearing it, my lady. Well, of course you will. We have to make you look like a successful professional woman. What is it? What's happened? Well, I won't wear it because I'm not going. They've cancelled the appointment. They've found someone more suited for the post and better qualified. This time... Let's face it. There will never be anyone less suited for the post or worse qualified than I am. That isn't true. You'll see. We're not giving up. No one hits the bullseye with the first arrow. I saw another opening for a secretary and I applied. But you never said. I didn't want you to be disappointed. I thought you'd given up. I'll never give up and nor will you. Things are changing for women, Gwen. Not just the vote, but our lives. But it's tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Last time we waited for weeks and weeks and, and this one's tomorrow. Then we must be ready by tomorrow, mustn't we? Skirt down a little, but I can put it back. <laughs> it's yours. What will happen if one of the maids finds her room's empty? Oh, but it would only be Anna. And she wouldn't give me away. She's like a sister. She'd never betray me. No, oh, well, then she's not like my sisters. Walk on. Take a seat. Our horse has cast a shoe. Is there a smithy nearby? Ah, you can try old Crump in the next village. Thank you. Thank you. See, helps at hand. And at least it happened on the way home. Well, they'll be worried about you. And if they check on me, I'm finished. Sorry, miss, but Mr Crump's staying over at the Skelton Estate tonight. He's working there all week. Is there anyone else? Not that I know of. Dragon, come on! Dragon, if you don't move now, I'll have you boiled for glue. Sorry, I'm a bit late tonight. Not to worry. How are you? Bearing up? This isn't the end. You mustn't give up. We'll get there. Forgive me, my lady, but if you don't get it, 
Well, you're brought up to think it's all within your grasp that if you want something enough, it will come to you. But we're not like that. We don't think our dreams are bound to come true because... because they almost never do. And that's why we must stick together. Your dream is my dream now. And I'll make it come true. Carson said you were here. Oh, just uh, checking that everything's been done right, my lady. Only we never heard back. That is, Miss Dawson never heard back from you. About an interview? Uh, yes, uh, we, we got the young lady's letter, but the trouble is she didn't have any experience of hard work that I could tell, so... But she's a very hard worker. Well, I couldn't find any proof of it. And she gave you as a reference when uh, you don't run a business, my lady. Well, not that I'm aware of. Lily, can you find Gwen and tell her to come to the hall now? Yes, my lady. The reason Gwen didn't give any more details is because she works here as housemaid. Ah, and you thought that would put me off. But she's taken a postal course and has good speeds in typing and Pittman shorthand test her. I will. If I like the look of her. Ah, so, young lady, you thought I'd turn up my nose at a housemaid. Well, I did, sir. Well, my mother was a housemaid. I've got nothing against housemaids. They know about hard work and long hours, that's for sure. Well, I believe so, sir. Right, well... Is there somewhere we could talk? Gwen, take Mr. Bromwich to the library. I'll see no one disturbs you. Sorry, Papa, you can't go in there. Why on earth not? Gwen's in there with Mr. Bromwich. She's being interviewed. I cannot use my library because one of the housemaids is in there applying for another job. It's about the size of it. <sighs> I think we should start the ices now. If you agree, Mrs. Patmore. Certainly, Mrs. Bird. Oh, my Lord, listen to that. It's like the cry of a banshee. Mr. Carson's telephone is ringing. But well, isn't someone going to answer it? I wouldn't touch that thing with a ten-foot pole. Well, I will then. No, Mr. Carson's busy. But can I take a message? I wish ours was. I've got news, my lady. Which is wrong. You've done it, Gwen. You've got the job. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Something to celebrate? Well, I got the job, Mrs. Hughes. I'm a secretary. I'm for Gordon. I'm very happy for you, Gwen, and we'll celebrate after we finish today's work. Of course, Mrs. Hughes. I don't suppose. That... Lady Sybil. Her ladyship was asking after you. Be careful, my lad, or you'll end up with no job and a broken heart. What do you mean? <laughs> 